Bangor City Council is asking residents where they should spend $20.48 million in American Rescue Act plan funds. According to the City of Bangor, there are a few federal guidelines they must follow. Funding can go into several categories, for instance, like disproportionately impacted communities, broadband infrastructure, and mental health services. One Bangor resident attended Tuesday night's meeting to get a better understanding of the funding. My main concern is making sure that that money goes to a project that we need to spend the money on anyways, and my hope is to get them to spend the money on things that will reduce tax rates um, or other taxes in the city for residents. Delano says so far, city officials have been very receptive to his advice. The proposed budget for 22-23 shows an increase of about 4.5% for the sewer spending in the city. My thought is, is that that usage is going to go back down, use some of this money for sewer projects so that we don't have to increase rates to residents of Bangor. Other public input came from local organization leaders like Together Place and Fresh Start Sober Living. Fresh Start Sober Living has 10 homes for sober residents. He says the money could help build more housing. And we could use 10 more. Um, these are recovery residents for people seeking recovery from the streets, from the jail, from prison um, that are from Penobscot County. I served in situations in elective office, state senator for Bangor, mayor for Bangor, and never before have we had $20 million that was discretionarily available to make an investment. He says there is a large need for public health access in eastern Maine. Our main service is recovery groups and one-on-one -on -one sessions for people who really need recovery services. The next public meeting for residents is on Thursday, June 2nd at 6 p.m. in Rangeley Hall at Eastern Maine Community College. In addition, there are six other meetings people can attend. In Bangor, I'm Stephanie Wittenbach reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22.